Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather, I am a styling, skincare, hair care, self care enthusiast. I don't have any training in anything, I just have people ask me questions sometimes, so I decided to start a YouTube channel to share my thoughts. So, um, uh, I feel like I'm a broken record. Once again, I am apologizing for not, you know, making a ton of content lately. Um, I do have another video that I did the Sistico nails system thing, which I did not realize was coming from Australia. Um, bottom line with that is they seem like a really nice, great company. Um, I did not love the manicure it gave me, but it's probably user error. So I might post that video later because I do it live on camera. Um, but I'm going to do kind of a short one today. Um, if my hair cooperates. Uh, so I just went and I took off all my makeup. Um, I didn't really, probably shouldn't have taken off my eyebrows, but I did. Um, because I ordered something. I actually originally ordered it for my mom. Um, I ordered this Laura Geller Balanced, Baked Balance and Glow Foundation. Um, so I, historically, I don't really like foundations. Um, they just kind of settle into everything. I have all these little hairs on the side of my face and they just stand out with liquid foundation, um, uh, you know, cream foundation I've tried, like the sticks, like just, I did get my makeup professionally done like for my photo shoot last year. Um, I don't know what kind of wizardry she did with that, but that looked great. Um, she did say that uh, because of the texture in my skin and like the, the fine hairs that I have, sort of pushing things into my face is gonna be better than like a sweeping motion. So something like um, an airbrush sprayer isn't really gonna work for me so well. But uh, in any case, you know, um, the holidays are coming up. My family does celebrate Christmas and I try to really sort of spoil my parents a bit. Now, what is this? What is, <sighs> anyway, sorry. Um, I try to spoil my parents. My dad's birthday is around the holiday season as well and he got ripped off for presents his entire life, uh, including from me when I was younger. So I really don't wanna do that anymore. Um, my sister's birthday is also around the holidays. So it's like, I have a lot of people to buy for. I have a lot of stuff to, to buy, right? So um, my mom wanted to try this foundation. They had a good deal going on the website. And so I figured, you know, if I get this discount, um, it's sort of like I got my foundation for free and I got her whole little like gift set thing at regular price. That's what it was. It basically ended up being on the site. I really don't remember how much I paid for it. I probably should have looked it up before the video. Um, so I got her, it was like the Tuscan palette because she likes gold. She's very tan. She's very blonde. Uh, we do not have the same skin tone at all. It's um, in the winter time when she's at her palest, it's almost the same. She's not as pale as me, but like we've worn the same makeup before. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, so for her, I got the light color in this and I got myself porcelain. Hers also is a different, it's not illuminating. Hers is something else that I don't recall off the top of my head. Um, so now this is saying, you know, get the best of both worlds, balance, baked balance and glow. So there's um, a touch of luminous pearl, giving a subtle but natural radiant glow that blurs pores and fine lines. For light to medium coverage, sweep and blend on face with a kabuki brush. Repeating is necessary. For fuller coverage, use a denser brush and apply in a patting motion. So um, when I took this out of the box, like there wasn't uh, really any sealant on the box, although they did put it in bubble wrap, which I think is a good idea because it, it looks like a giant eyeshadow, right? Um, we don't want this breaking in, in transit. Um, so this is kind of this is kind of nice. So it's got, you can see the window and then it's got a little, it's got a little mirror in there, so that's nice. Um, the idea is you swirl these colors together. It's supposed to make the correct color. Um, it was also packaged in this, like in this, inside of this. So I don't have specifically a kabuki brush for this, but I do have this brush, which uh, <coughs> Carlucci, the cash brush, cachet brush. I don't know how to say it, but this, I remember, I got this in my Lord Beauty box. It's very, very soft. So I was like, you know what? I haven't really used this very much. Um, it was in uh, a package, so it didn't have like dust on it, which unfortunately some of my stuff has dust on it. Um, I, my goal is to go through all of my personal care items and my clothes uh, before the end of the calendar year. So we'll see if that actually happens. So I figure, you know, give this, let's give this a try. So I don't have any, I took off my under eye concealer. I don't have anything on right now. Um, oh, wow. It turns into powder real quick. So I'm gonna pat this way instead. As you can see, a good amount of powder is going up in the air. So there's that. It does have a little bit of a smell. Oh, I've got powder all over the place. All over the place, not fleece. I'm just doing half of my face right now. We'll do the whole chin, I guess. We try to do the whole chin anyway. Um, so yeah. As I have previously mentioned on my videos, um, what I'm trying to do is usually just cover up um, under my eyes. That's my main concern. 
most of the time. All right. This does have a little bit of a powdery smell. Okay, so I put this on half my face. The redness around my chin, kind of going away. Kind of went away. All right. Um, so as you can see, I now have this just on the left side of my face. I mean, there's definitely more hyperpigmentation on this side. You can see more redness. You can see more uneven tone. This is, this is evened out quite a bit. And if you look at the light, you can see that this is lighter under my eyes than, than the right side. Huh. All right. So the finish on this, it doesn't feel super powdery. Um, it feels just nice and satiny. Um, I don't think it's really sinking into lines at all. Uh, I never ever put makeup over here near my eyes because it sinks into those fine lines. I think they look a little softened. What do you think? I think this is this is pretty good, especially for like like a face. Like I mean, it's your face, but I can never ever put color on my cheeks like this, and this looks pretty natural right that definitely did something from this side to this side hmm. all right so now we're gonna tap tap this way let's put it on the rest of the face I do have a virtual appointment today that I don't want to look like garbage for so if I tap like this I'm getting more on the brush and also there's less um, flying into the air so that's that's good <laughs> Don't want to get the actual brush in my eyeball, though. That would be bad. All right. So it's not, you know, it's not giving you the heaviest coverage ever, but that definitely evened everything out, didn't it? Um, looks pretty good. So now I just have on this, and I have on lip balm. Sometimes things look different in my phone, so I'm just going to open up my phone real quick and see if things look any different. My face definitely looks evener. Evener? More even on my phone. Um, it, it, yeah, there's definitely been some color deposit from this and it doesn't look powdery. It doesn't feel like anything. Ah, alrighty. Well, so that's my video on Laura Geller ba Baked Balance and Glow Illuminating Foundation. Also, I don't like things that are too, um, too illuminating, too pearly, too whatever. And I think this is a really, I think they did a good job with the balance on this. I don't feel like I look greasy, which is what happens half the time with those things that are supposed to look pearly. So um, I, I think I would recommend this, um, especially if you have those fine hairs on your face like I do, and if you're looking for lighter coverage. I don't know if you could do like a full heavy face with this. I also don't know how this powder is going to be with like, if you put on a cream blush, if you you know put on um, liquid eyeliner, if you put on stuff on your, like I don't know how it's gonna interact with those other textures. Um, but, uh, but yeah, overall, I think I'd recommend it. So if there's anything I can do for anybody, of course, always put it down in the comment section below. And uh, otherwise, I hope you have a really awesome rest of your day. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.